rack down. Woo! Follow it in. I'm gonna make my space in my frames, make it uncomfortable. All right. Again, you can't see what I'm doing. If I want to hit, I can. Ammerman loves this one. He'll just pound on your legs. It's just like a leg kick, right? Finding those, finding those knots. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Yep. Make it suck. Make him not understand what he's doing. But the what I'm doing up at his shoulders. These frames are the key. Okay. Because as soon as he can get his arms down, he can start pushing on. Now I'm scrambling to try to catch up. Right. So I immediately want to get as high as I can. Grab the foot. Pull it through. And I'm drawing my circle. Rotate. Boop. All right. Reason this is so important. Draw my circle is because I want that arm to cross his face as I come through. My knee's going to come up to his shoulders, behind him, and I'm going to wrap his neck. And we're back into our triple mount position. Cool? So I'm following that all the way through. I'm following his turn, forcing his shoulders to turn, and then using that to control his hips. Reverse guard, pull my foot through, I'm going to draw the circle. Opposite hand follows through, grab my magazine cover, and I draw my back leg up behind him. So my foot's nice and tight to his, to his back. Sorry, let me just wipe right in. My foot's down nice and low to keep his hip from coming through. Now I'm on his back. Cool? Turn all the way from the top, start in side control, and now I'm here. Why well, start on the bottom, right? I don't listen to rap song. Oh, snatch the foot. Down. All the way in. Make my space. Pull it through. All the way to the other side. All right. I got my forearms for control. You can body lock if you want to. Or I can pull that arm out. Choke. MMA, I can pound. Wherever you want to control. Cool? And not only am I going to mount, I'm going to turn it, use that underhook or use that pressure under his shoulder to turn his shoulders, take him back. One, two, three.